Capricorn and welcome to your November 2016 low forecast with me and this is Heart Divine. So for Capricorns, I'm picking up a lot of different things for both those who are possibly single and for those who are in a relationship. So please do bear with me as I kind of feel that I might say things that are, you know, can lead to some form of information overload. So yeah, please do bear with me. Um, so for a mini prediction to the things that I'm picking up, I kind of feel that there could be some form of arguments that might occur between you and someone, um, probably in a rela if you are in a relationship setup. Just be careful because I kind of feel that there is a tendency that these arguments might be in public you know it might be that how you are arguing um, it involves a lot of people that is a possibility or maybe you are in a in, a, in an event or somewhere wherein there's a lot of people around and you guys might fight that sort of thing there is some form of unpleasant feeling and disappointment that is going on around here. This could be that already has happened in the past, recent past, present moment, or something that might just occur in the near future. Because I do see that someone seems to be very emotionally unstable and a bit depressed as well. So yeah, there could be debates and that probably the new moon in Scorpio that has happened recently, um, your emotions is being triggered. So a lot of you guys might just burst out and express what they truly feel or think. You know, they just can't hold it in anymore. They end up telling you what's on their mind. So that might lead to some form of um, difficulties. For some of you guys, um, I kind of feel that you might meet someone. You know, maybe you have been disappointed for quite some, disappointed for quite some time now, and then you finally meet someone. You meet someone that is capable in being with you. You meet someone new, in a, in a place wherein there's a lot of people. You know, pro probably a party, an event, that sort of thing. There, that is a possibility especially for those who are single. There is also a chance that, you know, you might come into terms of choosing between two people, whether there, there are two women or two men and being involved. So there is a form of choice here. You know, probably with someone that has a higher status in life and someone with a lower status in life, that sort of thing. Either way, I do feel that there is a choice being made. For some of you guys, I kind of feel that there is a silence in the relationship as if there is a breakup. That is just a possibility and can be changed, of course. But I'm duping that up. I, I feel that this has already happened or it is about to occur in this situation because we do have a coffin here. So whenever whatever is in the middle of my five card spread in Lenormand, it's a very important message that we are getting here. So I, I kind of feel that, you know, the debates and arguments might have a trigger to what is going to occur to the relationship. Because with Capricorn, I kind of feel a lot of energy being involved here like intense energy going around and we do have a lot of swords also in the reading and this makes me feel that it has a lot to do with mental thing as well you do have a mixture of swords and cups overall this makes me feel that you know your mind and your heart is having a fight out you are thinking and contemplating about your relationship for quite some time now, and the energy of your emotions is uncontrollable. 
which leads to how things are going to be in your love life and relationship. Now, please do know that this is just a general reading, so it may or may not apply to everyone else, to every Capricorn out there as well. So, um, yeah. We do see here that you are either at the verge of getting a resolution to a relationship. Either that or you are coming to terms of questioning something in this relationship that you are in. For some of you guys, I kind of feel that, you know, you have been stuck in some form of relationship or pattern in a relationship and you want to set yourself free or you want to do something in this situation that you're in. You don't want for... You don't want how things in the past are going. You know, you want something new. You want some form of change to occur in this situation as well. For some of you guys, you are waiting for things to change. And for some of you guys, you are wanting to do everything that you can for things to actually change in this relationship. Some of you guys might feel very adventurous, like they want to do something new. Whether they are single or in a relationship, they want to do something that gives you gives them some form of thrill and happiness in a situation overall. I kind of feel that there is something that you want to to have. There is something that you are fighting for this relationship. Maybe things have been unfair between you and the other person and you want things to be fair. You want things to tip off. You want things to be balanced between you, between the two of you. I kind of feel that there is, there might be a tendency that you have already speak your mind regarding this. Because I kind of feel that some relationships with Capricorn are a bit strained. We do see here in the recent past that in the recent past, I kind of feel that there was a new beginning that has occurred. I kind of feel that for some of you, you have started something in the relationship. Maybe you have opened up a certain topic in the relationship to how things are going to be in the future. I'm just not sure how that has led the relationship. What I do know here and what is being shown to me is that you have this, you know what you want in the relationship and you have started something right there. And the challenge, the challenge for you guys is that there is some form of waiting period going on within November. And for some of you guys, you might feel stressed out, frustrated, and confused. On another aspect, a lot of you guys are really confused on what they truly want. You know, maybe you wanted this relationship, but because it's not moving forward, it's it's becoming a bit stressful. Like you don't know how things should be and if there is any any future in it as well. I kind of feel here in the near future that you're going to be giving in to your emotions. Because in the recent past, I do know that you have focus on what is the right thing to do, what is, what do you think is right, the, those logical stuff. And in the near future, I do see you giving in to either to temptations or giving in to what your heart's desire. Truly giving in to your emotions. If not emotions, with your own pleasures. Whatever pleases you, whatever makes you happy, you're giving in to that. For some of you guys, this could be a good thing, but for some of you guys, especially those who are in a relationships, you might be giving in to temptations, regardless what temptations mean to you. Maybe because you have been so stressed out and you needed to 
let loose, let go, and, you know, just have fun. There is a tendency like that. We do see that you are coming to terms of wanting to compromise a relationship. You wanted to focus on the relationship. You wanted to work something out in this relationship. And I do feel that there is going to be some form of communication and compromising going on between you and a certain person in your life. And if you're single, I do feel that you are definitely going to meet someone. There is also a possibility that you're going to meet your soulmate during this time. That is highly possible to occur as well. And a buildup of a relationship might just occur between the two, the two of you. There is spiritual help that is going to occur for a lot of Capricorns out there. I kind of feel that this energy will just come. It's like the universe is helping you. Your intuition is very high. And whatever you're going through, I kind of feel that as long as you follow your gut, gut feel, your instincts, um... You just can't go wrong in there. At the end of the month, I kind of feel that there is something that's going to be to really make you happy. And this is where I also feel that there is a, going to be a choice that is being made. You know, maybe you're choosing between two people. Maybe you are deciding something about a relationship. There's something that you're going to decide. And... It's not a bad thing because I kind of feel that you're going to be happy about it, whatever decision that you make. This could also be more of a message that you are starting to love yourself because in the recent past, I kind of feel that probably you're not so compassionate with yourself. Maybe you, you were hard on yourself and this month you are learning that you know there is just more to life than just the other person alone there is more to life than you know being uh than, than loving someone you need to love yourself as well and this is something that you will definitely feel and achieve all at the same time i kind of feel that you know for some of you guys you are waiting for something and you are expecting some form of good results and you are most likely to receive whatever it is that you are waiting on. Either way, I kind of feel that there, there were lessons in the past that will give you some form of conclusion and resolution for the month of November. And this will help you create a pathway on what should be done, on, what, on how you should handle your love life and relationship situation. From here on to the near future as well. A lot of emotions are going to be involved here. But I kind of feel that th this month is going to be much more peaceful, much more worth it than the past few months. So you can expect really good things to occur for the month of November for you. So yeah, this is really a good thing. So just remember to follow your intuition and, you know, try not to think too much because thinking too much logically confuses you. Follow your gut instincts because it will tell you the truth and it will lead you the way to the path of the happiness that you crave, that you deserve, and that you need in your situation as well. So yeah, Capricorn, thank you for watching and subscribing with me. If you'd like a personal reading, just visit my website. It's down down. It's down below uh, this video at, this, at the description box. So yeah, um, it's going to be a wonderful month for you guys. I kind of feel that you really will have some form of connection with someone so strong that you never thought that you will experience it in this lifetime especially for those who are singles so um yeah uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you next month goodbye